Salutations, cadets. I am your Commander Pika, and this is for the first reset of the Lightfall expansion and Season of Defiance on February 28th, 2023. It's here. It's time. The Lightfall expansion and penultimate chapter in the Light and Darkness saga is here. Dive in to uncover the mystery of the Witness and Strand while exploring the gorgeous city of Neomuna. And for you Season Pass owners, join Mars Queensguard and defend Earth from the encroaching Shadow Legion in Season of Defiance. For our normal reset information, Shex has brought Rift as the weekly rotator. In the Vanguard node, we see changes to the power level, surges, and threats. Normal Vanguard Ops is under Stasis Surge, while the Nightfall playlist has Solar and Strand Surge, Solar Threat, and Overcharged Sniper Rifle. Dive into the Proving Ground Nightfall to earn Hung Jury SR4. I got another perk refresh this season with a new Kinetic Tremors trait. For Endgame Pinnacles, dive into the Last Wish Raid and Prophecy Dungeon. If you have some free time between grinding and leveling, maybe farm for that 1000 voices for its newly added Scorch. Lastly, Dares of Eternity is in Loot Rotation 1, granting weapons from Season of the Hunt and Old World drops. With a new expansion launch, that means a new hotfix full of patch notes. With a complete list of notes for update 7.0.0.1, check the link in the description. Most of the changes were detailed ahead of time in separate blog posts, but notable ones not previously mentioned are Armor from Master Dungeons now drop with higher stats, Kepri's Sting and Heart of Most Light got some reworks and nerfs, Red Reticle is now enabled on PC, and Heat Rise has got a passive buff to AE. With a new week, that means new vendor loot. Starting with Banshee, he has something new. Aside from his traditional weekly offerings, Banshee now has a featured section of previous seasonal and world drop weapons, which rotates daily. So for today only, pick up that Kelgrath and Grid Skipper if you haven't done so before. Going forward, I'll try to make daily posts with his updated weapons. For his weekly loot, the new Battle Scars Pulse has a decent utility PvE role of Shoot to Loot and Osmosis, and the Sununa SI6 Stasis Sidearm has Slick Draw and Headstone. Those and everything else you can probably skip. For armor, new Hunters have some okay sets at Failsafe and Devrim. Only 58s, but solid distributions if you need them for your builds. New week, new season, that means new loot in the Eververse store. It'll take some time to see Lightfall and Defiance in the Bright Dust section, but this week we have some exotic armor ornaments and cool emotes. The rest can be seen on screen now. With that, I'll let you get back to the new content and spectacle of Strain. Tell me what you think about all the stuff so far, I'm curious. Highs and lows for me, but I'm having lots of fun and story was fairly good IMO. Plus, there's still likely more to come after the launch of the raid and progression of seasonal story. Be on the lookout for some guides going on the channel in the coming week on the topics of the season, champions, and the basics of the new systems. It takes me time, but I like to have all the information and validate everything. So, to see them when they go live, ring that bell and hit subscribe. As always, I am your Commander Pika. Be kind, have fun, and I'll see you on the battlefield.